Introduction As we already know that body of higher animals like man is formed of a number of organ systems. Yes, some of the examples are digestive system, respiratory system, circulatory system, excretory system, etc. So we can say that each system is specialized to do a specific function such as nutrition, digestion, respiration, transport of materials, excretion respectively. In each system all the organs work together so that whole of the system can work properly. Yes, in other words, we can say that all the organs of a system coordinate with each other so that the system can work properly. Coordination is the working together of the various organs in a systematic manner so as to produce a proper reaction to the stimulus. As we already know that something is called living when a movement is observed in it. This movement can be due to growth as in plants a seed germinates and grows. This movement in plants is stopped after a particular time. Yes, on the other hand in animals and some plants these movements are not connected with growth. Some examples of it are running of a dog playing football of children and chewing cud of cows. These movements are not related to growth. If we analyze these movements, we find a reason behind each and every movement. The dog may be running because it has seen a cat. Children play to have pleasure. Cows chew cud to help break up tough food so as to be able to digest it better. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to understand coordination in animals and plants, find out what is stimulus, find out nervous coordination in lower animals, understand nervous coordination in higher animals, find out the unit of nervous system, neuron, find out types of neurons, find out types of nerve fibers, understand nervous system of man, understand structure and functions of central nervous system, human brain, find out structure and functions of spinal cord, understand structure and functions of peripheral nervous system, find out structure and functions of autonomic nervous system, understand reflex actions. Stimulus. While playing football, there is coordination between eyes for observation of ball, brain for analyzing these observation, and muscles for giving proper response and movement to the ball. Thus, we can say that every living organism respond and react to changes in the surroundings. The changes in the environment to which the organisms respond and react are called stimuli. Stimulus are of two types, external stimulus and internal stimulus. External stimulus is due to environmental factors like heat, light, sound, water, wind, etc. Internal stimulus occurs within the organism. It may be due to hormones, acids, enzymes, etc. present within the organism. Coordination in animals In all the animals belonging to co trait to mammalia, multicellular control and coordination of body function is enabled by specialized cells called neurons. In higher metazoans, these neurons or nerve cells are organized to form a nervous system. In animals belonging to arthropoda to mammalia, there is endocrine system also in addition to nervous system. The nervous and endocrine systems are collectively called neuroendocrine system. Nervous coordination in lower animals. In coelent traits, nervous system is of diffused type. Examples, hydra. In platyhelminthus, ladder type nervous system is present. Examples, tapeworm, liver fluke, etc. In analytes, a well-organized centralized nervous system is present. This consists of a circumpharyngeal nerve ring and a nerve cord. In arthropoda, centralized nervous system like analytes is present, but their nerve ring is circumesophageal. Nervous coordination in higher animals. In higher organisms, three types of systems coordinate with one another to control and coordinate the body functions. They are Receptor systems, nervous system, effector system. Receptor systems is formed of receptors or sense organs. 
These receptors are made up of highly specialized cells which receive stimuli and change them into appropriate nerve impulse which are carried to CNS by nerve fibers of sensory nerves. Receptors are of six main types. Photoreceptors for light located in eyes. Phonoreceptors for sound located in internal ears. Olfactor receptors for smell located in nasal chambers. Gustato receptors for taste located in taste buds on tongue. Tango receptors for touch located in skin. Thermoreceptors for changes in temperature located in skin. Nervous system analyzes the sensory nerve impulses and initiates the appropriate motor nerve impulses which are carried to appropriate effector organ by nerve fibers of motor nerves. Effector system is formed of effector organs which include muscles and glands and give the response. Example, contraction or relaxation of muscles and switch on or switch off of glandular secretion. Nervous system of man. The function of nervous system is to coordinate the activities of our body. It is the control system of all our actions, thinking, and behavior. The nervous system helps all other systems of our body to work together. The human nervous system receives information from the surroundings, processes it, interprets it, and then responds accordingly. The nervous system also passes information from one internal system to another. Example, as soon as we put food in our mouth, it immediately causes the release of saliva from the salivary gland. Human nervous system is composed of three parts. Central nervous system, CNS, peripheral nervous system, PNS, autonomic nervous system, ANS. Neuron. The units which make up the nervous system are called nerve cells or neurons. Neuron is a functional and structural unit of nervous system. A neuron is a nerve cell with all its branches. Neuron is the longest cell in the human body and is about 100 cm long. A neuron is formed of three parts. Cyton, dendrites, axon. Cyton. Cyton is a typical animal cell type structure which contains cytoplasm and a nucleus. It is spherical in shape and about 4 to 135 mu meter. It has a granular cytoplasm called neuroplasm which is enclosed by cell membrane called neurolemma. It also has a large spherical and centric nucleus with a nucleus. It has all cell organelles like mitochondria, ER, Golgi bodies, lysosomes, ribosomes, etc. It has also a number of small-sized granules, Nissel's granules, which help in protein synthesis. Dendrites Dendrites are small-sized branched fibers, many in number. They conduct stimuli to its cell body, hence called afferent in nature. Axon Axon is actually the largest cell in the body. They are long-sized fibers. They are unbranched, and only one in number. They conduct stimuli from cell body towards other neurons, hence it is called efferent in nature. They have one or two additional covering. Myelin sheath, a squant sheath. Myelin sheath around the axon is an insulating and protective sheath. At certain places, myelin sheath is absent, and that area is known as node of Ranvia. A squant sheath covers whole of the axon. It also covers myelin sheath. Axon bears terminal and fibers which end into synaptic knobs. Types of neurons On the basis of their functions, neurons are of three types. Sensory, association, relaying, motor. Sensory neurons are found in sense organs. Association, relying neurons are found in brain and spinal cord. Motor neurons are also found in brain and spinal cord. Functions of neurons Sensory neurons conduct nerve impulse from sense organs to the central nervous system, that is, brain and spinal cord. Relaying neuron is present in the CNS, receives these stimuli brought by sensory neurons, 
analyzes it, interprets it, and produces a message. Motor neurons conduct this message from CNS to the factors. Central nervous system, human brain, consists of brain and spinal cord in animals. All life activities are under control of the brain. Human brain. Brain is a soft, whitish, large and slightly flattened structure present in the cranial cavity of cranium. Weight of brain is about 1200 to 1400 gram. Human brain is covered with three meninges or membranes. Pi is inner meninges, arachnoid is middle meninges, and dura mater is outer meninges. The space between membranes is filled with cerebrospinal fluid. Brain has gray matter outside and white matter inside. Parts of brain. Human brain has three parts. Forebrain, midbrain, hindbrain. Forebrain is anterior. Two third part of brain. It is main thinking part of brain. It has three parts. Olfactory lobe are one pair small sized club shaped. Cerebrum is the largest part of brain and forms about 80% of weight of brain. It has one pair of cerebral hemisphere. Each has four lobes frontal lobe, parietal lobe, temporal lobe, and occipital lobe. Diencephalon is made of thalamus and hypothalamus. Midbrain is formed of two parts. Optic lobes, cerebral peduncles. Hindbrain also has three parts. Cerebellum, pons, medulla oblongata. Functions of different parts of human brain are as given in this table. Spinal cord. Spinal cord controls the reflex actions and conducts messages between different parts of the body and brain. Peripheral nervous system. Peripheral nervous system consists of nerves arising from the brain, cranial nerves, and nerves arising from the spinal cord, spinal nerves. It assists in transmitting information between central nervous system and the rest of the body. Autonomic nervous system. Autonomous nervous system. Parasympathetic and sympathetic system. Involuntary activities like breathing and beating of heart take place by the coordinated efforts of the medulla oblongata and autonomous nervous system. Reflex actions. When a receptor is stimulated, it sends a signal to the central nervous system where the brain coordinates the response. But sometimes a very quick response is needed, one that does not need the involvement of the brain. This is a reflex action. Reflex actions are rapid and happen without us thinking. Example, you would pull your hand away from a hot flame without thinking about it. The process is as follows. A receptor detects a stimulus. This is indicated by the red on the hand. A sensory neuron sends a signal to the relay neuron. Then relay neuron sends the signal to the motor neuron. Then motor neuron sends a signal to the effector. Then effector produces a response. As a result, the hand is pulled away quickly. Did you know? Brain is the highest coordination center in human body. Hypothalamus is commonly known as thermostat of the body. Meningitis is the inflammation of meningeal membranes. Cerebellum is also known as little brain. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Control and coordination are the functions of the nervous system and hormones in human body. 
The responses of the nervous system can be classified as reflex action, voluntary action or involuntary action. The nervous system uses electrical impulses to transmit messages. The nervous system gets information from our sense organs and acts through our muscles. Chemical coordination is seen both in plants and animals. Hormones produced in one part of an organism move to another part to achieve the desired effect. A feedback mechanism regulates the action of hormone. Introduction As we already know that plants do not have a nervous system and sense organs like eyes, ears or nose like the animals have. Yes, but they can still sense things like light, gravity, chemicals, water and touch by actions of hormones on them. So we can say that plants can sense the presence of stimuli and respond to them. We can also say that the hormones in plants coordinate their behavior by affecting the growth of a plant. Yes, and the effect on growth of the plant can result in the movement of a part of a plant like root or stem. The plants respond to various stimuli very slowly by growing. Objectives at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to understand coordination in plants, find out immediate response to stimulus, understand movement due to growth, find out hormones in plants, study photoperiodism and flowering, find out hormones in animals, and understand structure and functions of endocrine glands. Coordination in plants. Plants lack nervous and muscular system. Plants respond to stimuli by showing two types of movements, growth independent and growth dependent. Growth independent movements are usually quicker than growth dependent ones and involve the use of electrochemical signals by the plant. Example, drooping of leaves of a touch-me-not plant when it is touched. Immediate response to stimulus. The movement of plants in the direction of stimulus is known as tropism. Tropic movements are shown in response to environmental factors such as light, gravity, water and chemicals. Growth dependent movements or tropic movements are slow occurring either towards or away from the stimulus. Phototropism is directional movement of a plant, plant part in response to light. Example, shoots show positive phototropism. Plant roots are negatively phototropic, whereas plant shoots are positively phototropic. Geotropism is directional movement of a plant, plant part, in response to gravity. Example, roots show positive geotropism. Plant roots are positively geotropic, whereas plant shoots are usually negatively geotropic. Chemotropism is directional movement of a plant or plant part in response to chemicals. Example, growth of the pollen tube towards the ovule. Hydrotropism is movement of a part of a plant in response to water. Example, roots. Movement due to growth. When a tendril comes in contact with the support, then the part of the tendril away from the support grows more rapidly than the part of the tendril that is in contact with the object. Thus, the tendril circles around the object and appears to cling to it. Hormones in plants. 
Plant hormones or phytohormones are chemical substances produced naturally by plants. They are capable of being translocated and regulate to one or more physiological processes when present in low concentrations. Plant hormones and their functions are as given in table. Photoperiodism and flowering. Flowering in a plant occurs at a particular time of the year and is controlled by factors like photoperiod and temperature. The response of plants to the relative lengths and alternations of light and dark periods with regard to initiation of flowering is called photoperiodism. It was discovered by Garner and Allard in 1920. On the basis of photoperiod, plants are of three types. Short-day plants, long-day plants, day-neutral plants. Short-day plants require longer dark period for flowering. Example, tobacco, rice, dahlia. Long-day plants require longer light period for flowering. Example, wheat, oat, radish, lettuce. Day-neutral plants are not dependent on photoperiod for flowering. Example, tomato, sunflower. Hormones in animals. The term hormone was introduced by Bayliss and Starling. The hormones in animals are produced by the endocrine glands and are chemical substances that control and coordinate activities of living organisms and also their growth. Animal hormones do not bring about directional growth depending on environmental cues, but promote controlled growth in various areas to maintain the body design. Animal hormones and their functions and deficiency diseases are as given in table. Endocrine glands There are a number of endocrine glands which differ from one another in their location, structure as well as in the hormones secreted by them and their functions. Endocrine system is formed of a number of endocrine glands and control and coordinates the body functions through their specific chemical secretions called hormones. Did you know, thyroid gland is the largest endocrine gland of the human body. Deficiency of thyroxine in infants causes cretinism characterized by reduced physical, mental and sexual growth. Deficiency of iodine in the diet causes goiter, which is characterized by swollen neck. Adrenaline is also called emergency hormone or triple F hormone. Pituitary gland is commonly known as master gland. Deficiency of growth hormone GH causes dwarfism while its excess causes gigantism. Deficiency of insulin causes diabetes. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Plants do not only respond to light, but show tropisms in response to other stimuli as well. Phytohormones are of different types. Auxin, gibberellins, Cytokinin, abscissus acid, and ethylene. Flowering and seed germination in plants are regulated by the duration of light. This is known as photoperiodism. Phototropism is the movement of the body parts of plants in relation to direction of light stimuli. Geotropism is the movement of the body parts of plants in relation to gravitational pull of the earth. Hydrotropism is the movement of the body parts of plants in the direction of water.
endocrine system is formed of endocrine or ductless glands whose secretions are called hormones. Thyroid gland secretes thyroxine hormone and its deficiency causes cretinism. Parathyroid secretes PTH, which regulates calcium phosphorus balance inside the body. Adrenal glands secrete two hormones, corticoids and adrenaline. A hypothalamus secretes releasing hormones which regulate hormonal secretions from anterior lobe of pituitary. Pancreas also secretes two hormones, insulin and glucagon, which regulate glucose level in blood. Testes secrete testosterone and ovaries secrete estrogen and progesterone. 